welcome to the Banana Diaries. My name is Britt and I'm the creator behind the Banana Diaries. Today I am going to teach you how to bake spaghetti squash, which is a awesome squash to use. It kind of resembles spaghetti, which is why it's called spaghetti squash, and a lot of people use it as a noodle substitute. So let's go over how to actually cook spaghetti squash the right way, and then I'll show you how you can slice into it and then use it for a sauce. So today we're gonna be using a simple marinara sauce, one that I got from my farmer's market. It is my absolute favorite sauce. It's literally just pureed cooked tomatoes and it tastes so good. So let's walk you through how to make this baby now. All right, so we have our baking tray here, the spaghetti squash, and then we have a fork. So we're just going to dimple the spaghetti squash with some holes from the fork, and this allows the air to get in and help it cook more evenly. So once you've dimpled it with some holes from the fork, you're just gonna actually just place this right into the oven, and we're gonna bake it for about an hour at 400 degrees. Now, you're not gonna eat the skin on this. You don't eat spaghetti squash skin. It just kind of becomes like the boat for what you serve your spaghetti squash in, or you could just plate your spaghetti squash too. And the trick will actually come when we're slicing this. So let's get this into the oven, cooked, and then I'll teach you how to do that. Be right back. Okay, so, did you miss me? Our spaghetti squash is all baked, Ooh, it is hot. Um, and now we're just going to slice it open, and then we'll tease out the strands, and then we'll serve it with the sauce. So. You're gonna take your spaghetti squash, if it's hot, put on some gloves, but this is pretty manageable. And it should be soft enough that you can just cut this baby right in half. Yep, it's good. All right, and so now we're gonna scrape out the seeds. So now that we have pulled apart the strands of the spaghetti squash, you can either serve it in the boat, which is something I actually like to do sometimes, like serving it with an Alfredo sauce, which I'll give the link to that down below in the description, and then you could actually rebake it as well to like make that nice caramelized gooeyness texture on top. Or you can um, just toss in some marinara or pesto, or you can actually take out the strands and toss them with the sauce and then serve them on a plate, or you can just serve it as a side. There's so many things that you can do with this. So I'm gonna go serve mine with marinara and then we'll circle back in a few. See you soon. My dinner is ready, so I better get to eating before this gets cold. But this is the finished product of how I prepared my spaghetti squash today. I just did a simple marinara on top, topped it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, pine nuts, and sage, and a little bit of sea salt as well for flavor. All my tips and tricks for making this spaghetti squash is gonna be on the blog, thebananadiaries.com, so check the description down below for the full recipe. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos like this. You can also follow me on Instagram at the underscore banana diaries. There I share some fun behind the scenes and you get to learn a little bit more about me and also some fun kitchen hacks along the way. I hope you get to try out this beautiful winter squash because it makes for the perfect cozy dish. But now I have to go eat this before it gets cold. So I will catch you on the next video. Enjoy.